Hey, welcome back to yet another important segment of our broadcast as we present the High Priest of Yoruba who is committed to stand for the masses to ensure that disbursement take place in UAG grant. Or as we all know, the High Priest gave uh, UAG three days to disburse and tomorrow is the last day. He is out to uh, remind them and he went on to call them for peace, that there should be peace, that we are all one. If they are coming together, there will be disbursement. And pay attention to him as he call everybody to come together and then ensure that disbursement kick off. He went on to say that if by tomorrow there's no disbursement, he would come out fully with the masses to ensure that we cook for UAAG management and all grand pressure group. Listen to the high priest as he talked to the masses. Thank you. Good morning, Nigerians. This is the voice of Shika Rita Jinajai, the Akoma Boko of the world. I give glory to Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to witness today. And I thank my brother, Shane from London, who will take UAG matter to BBC for calling me. I told him to hold on. I'm doing my investigation for me to know what is really happened because we are in darkness. And I appreciate uh, the president of our Grand Prix Group, German Machine. He called before the meeting they did about three days ago and he explained a lot of things to me. Actually, I've called him, he didn't pick, and he returned my call. And God bless you. But I'm still doing my investigation to know the truth because we are still in darkness. Me, I don't just come out to talk. I always do my I always do my investigation. And I promise Nigeria that I will come out to tell Nigerians the truth. I won't hide anything. It's a promise. And I stand on my word. Tomorrow is the end. That's why I'm begging Mr. Shane from London to hold on. The problem we are facing in Grand Home is that there is no love. We have to love ourselves. The truth is that we are all from God. We are being created by Almighty God. We are the image of God. We should forget maybe a Manawusa, Yibo, Yoruba, this tribe, something where so a lot of us uh, always uh, have it in mind. We should forget about tribalistic. We are all from God. God did not create us as say, maybe you go and be a Usa, you go and be Ibo, you go and be... No, no, no. It is when we are born, we speak different languages. And in Bible or in Quran, they not tell us that uh, we, are, we are not from God. That maybe uh, the God that created Usa is different from the God that created uh, Ibo. No, we are being created by only one God. So if we look it in that angle that we are from God, there will be no problem. All this money we are talking about, even though those that have access to the money, if you take it to the end, God take your life. What will you tell your God? Or if you make people lose this money and God take your life, what will you tell God? A lot of people are dying. I've been receiving a lot of messages. I share tears at times. Oh my God. I don't sleep. People bombard me with calls, messages. I have to WhatsApp. In the middle of, in the middle of my night, uh, I'm supposed to, to sleep. I'll start responding to a lot of messages. So I'm begging the two parties. I don't want to say that maybe this one is the one that's holding it. I'm still doing my investigation. It's very easy for us to get this money. The way Abdul spoke to me said, if things, um, if things is done well, that they can disburse this money between some two houses. That's what he told me. So I see this thing is very easy. So, and I'm begging those people that have been threatening the lives of organ pressure group that they should stop it. 
and also I had an information that people are threatening the life of Chingwe, the daughter of Apostle Ken, and Apostle Ken himself. Let's stop it for now. Yes, we have just only one day, and wish we know that by weekend we'll plan what we are going to do. So by Monday and Tuesday, the journey will start. But if we finally lose this money, I want to say this, Nigerians will never forgive our Grand Pressure Group and Apostle Ken. That's the reason why I'm begging the two parties, let's come together. Let's see one-on-one. Let's see one-on-one. Now, all Grand Pressure Group said uh, with Apostle Ken, they held a meeting and no one of us will be there. So it has been, a, it is been a time whereby we want to bring both parties together. We we'll call Apostle Ken, or Grand Pressure Group, and we will be there to know the truth and what is and what is stopping, blocking this disruptment. And if they refuse to come together, we we'll come back to Nigerians to tell Nigerians that these are the people that refuse to attend the meeting. So that in the meeting, we know the truth. Because all these while we say, I Apostle Ken and the Grand Pressure Group, they have come together, they, uh, uh, they have agreed to do the need to. But at the end of the day, it won't happen in the way we hear it. So we want to push up to heat. If all Grand Pressure Group and Apostle Ken come out and cook food for all Nigerians. We will eat it. But if all Nigerians gather themselves and cook food for all Grand Pressure Group and Apostle Ken, they cannot eat it finished. So that means you people, you are not higher than Nigerians. People are hailing you, you guys today because they believe in you. But if finally they lost what they're supposed to get from you people, I'm telling you people, Nigeria will never forget you people. But if Nigeria get this money, they will celebrate you people. So I'm still giving you an advice. We will call for a meeting today by God's grace. We have to sort things out. We'll call for a meeting. To know the truth. We don't want to see as if uh, anything you just say, uh, we have we are we have a meeting with Apostle Ken. We have decided and we have made it and this and no, we don't want to hear that again. We don't want to hear that again. As a chief of the community, I want to use my good office to call both of you together today, not tomorrow. Today, we want to know the truth. I've been saying Olua is involved, Olua is involved. We are deceiving ourselves. God has answered our prayers. It is we that are blocking the way. It is we that are blocking the prayer. So we have to come together to love ourselves, to talk together, for the poor masses to get this money. I will still come my way today, Nigerians, to let you know what is going on. I'm here for the masses, I stand by the, by the masses, and I will stand for the masses till God take me away. Thank you, all pastors, all our fast, all our fathers on the other side for praying for me. I really appreciate you. What I mean, the uh, fathers, the churches. God bless you all. I really appreciate you, and I will never disappoint you, people. I will never disappoint the masses. I will always come out to say the truth. And also, I want everyone else to have in mind that one Nigeria is going to save us. One Nigeria is going to save us. Let's put ourselves together. One voice. Our government will listen to us. 
God will bless us. Let's stop killing innocent Nigerians. Let's stop kidnapping innocent people. One Nigeria is the only thing that can save us. God bless Nigeria. God bless everyone that listened to me. God bless all my friends, home and abroad. Thank you so much.